Another one of our area teams getting reacquainted with the big dance tonight. For the first time in almost 20 years, the Fertile Beltrami Falcons are in the Class A Boys Basketball State Tournament over in the Twin Cities. The Falcons coming in as the Section 6 champions, the third overall seed in the bracket. Their first opponents in their trip back to their sport's biggest stage, the Goodhue Wildcats. We're tied up at 42 here in the second half. Caden Swemmy driving inside, crashes into an attempted double team, but floats the ball up and drops it through. Falcons grabbing themselves a late lead. They're up by one now with just over five and a half minutes left in this contest. Swemby loading up again, weaves his way through some defenders and the Minnesota Crookston commit pushes the lead to three with a clean layup. Good defense keeps the difference at three for the next possession. It's Swemby striking again. The quick free throw line pull up is good. Five point cushion now for the Falcons. He's taking this one over. And after a litany of perfect free throws down the stretch, the Falcons put the Wildcats away. 64 to 57 win to advance to the semifinals. The Falcons aren't the only area team in the Class A quarterfinals today, though. The West Central Area Knights beat the Heritage Christian Academy Eagles by 11 to also advance to the semis. That means that these two will meet tomorrow at 2 p.m. for a spot in the state championship game. And the NCHC announced their award winners this afternoon as they get ready to drop the puck on the frozen faceoff. Jackson Blake grabbed one of the more prestigious honors from the conference, being named the Forward of the Year. Blake set a new NCHC record this season, scoring 37 points in just 24 games of league play. The Hobie Baker Award finalist is a unanimous first team all NCHC selection, the 10th Conference Player of the Year in team history. Blake and the rest of the UND hockey team play tomorrow afternoon in the frozen faceoff semifinals against Omaha. The Bison women's basketball team is getting ready for postseason action of their own. They just don't know when or where they'll be playing yet. The Bison, who are playing Montana in the second round of the WNIT tournament after a first round bye, still haven't been told who will host that game or even what day they'll be playing. We talked to the team earlier today about the wait as they look to return to the hardwood. Oh, about every 30 seconds, somebody texts me or asks me what time we're playing and when, and I have said I have no idea every time. So we're all waiting, um, and it's a little bit frustrating because you want to have a, you know, you want to know what the end goal is and, and begin your prep and, and have some sort of routine, but uh, we'll stay at it with practice and, until we get the final word. The Bison do at least know that they'll be playing the Grizz next. This is the third sport that these two teams have competed against this year and the second postseason tournament between the Grizz and the Bison. We'll keep you posted on when we know more about when and where this game is going to take place. The element of surprise. I'm not sure who that helps. It is so. very familiar, though, seeing NDSU and Montana competing in something. It just feels something. right. In a postseason tournament, does. Montana and NDSU just feels correct. I agree. <laughs> the, the, the weather outside feels more like March in Fargo as yeah, well, yeah. unfortunately. unfortunately.